Whether you're covering outdated tile or adding cottage charm to your space, classic beadboard wainscoting never goes out of style. And installing it is easy when you have the right tools and tips. Here's what you'll need. When it comes to beadboard, you can buy individual tongue and groove boards or ready-made panels in a variety of materials and finishes. Consider all three elements of the wainscoting, the baseboards, the beadboard paneling, and top rail trim. This ensures you accurately calculate how much material you'll need. We're installing a pre-finished beadboard panel sitting atop a 1x6 baseboard. Then we'll cap it off with a 1x4 inch top rail. To accurately measure and mark your walls, go ahead and remove any existing baseboards or moldings. Then, draw a level, horizontal line around the room at the desired height. Be sure to take into consideration the height of your future baseboard and top rail when you do this. This horizontal line will be your guide during installation and indicates where the top edge of the beadboard panel will be located. Next, move along the wall, marking the location of the studs at floor level and above the guideline, so the marks will remain visible as you work. Finally, remove any wall plates or coverings before getting started. Begin the project by installing your first run of the baseboard. Be sure to leave the recommended 1 16th inch expansion gap where the trim meets the wall. Double check that the board is level. Then secure it into the studs using number eight finishing nails. Keep in mind, if installing baseboards around the perimeter of a room, you'll need to accommodate inside and outside corners using miter cuts. If your first starter panel needs a cutout for an outlet or switch, measure from the baseboard, noting the on-center location of the outlet along the wall. Then transfer those dimensions to the back of your beadboard panel draw the cutout, then use a jigsaw to remove that section. To get started with the beadboard installation, apply adhesive along the back of each panel, then position it on the wall using the horizontal line as a guide. Nail the panel into the studs, hiding the nail in the groove when possible. Continue along the wall taking care to butt the panels tightly together as you work your way across the space. As you approach a corner, measure the distance from the last installed panel to the perpendicular wall. Then cut the last piece of beadboard to size using a jigsaw. Be sure to take into account any necessary expansion gaps as you mark and cut your last panel. Once all your beadboard is up, you're ready to cap it off with trim. Measure, mark, and cut the cap rail to size as needed. Then, referencing your stud locations, secure the trim to the wall using number seven finish nails. Finally, countersink and fill all nail holes. Then caulk to give the woodwork a finished seamless look. Reinstall any outlet and switch covers. Then, step back to admire your work. Good luck and thanks for shopping at the Home Depot.